now the money that I'm looking for is not money that I need for me. Yeah. But I, I pray that God blesses you so that you then become an example to everybody around you that now we work for God. Yeah. yeah the money is not for us. What I've picked up is that people don't, are not actually interested in the money. If we're genuinely being honest, yeah. when people realize how much influence you have, mm. that's what they're interested yeah. in. People will play you. Oh, yeah. They will yeah. play you. Yeah. And once they reach your influence, that means they can corrupt your influence. Stop trying to fit in. Yeah. Recreate the game. Recreate it. Don't become a hip hop gospel guy. Go don't try and take God and fit him into the space. No, no, you guys are bigger. Create what it is that you have. And our calling dude is for people to sit down and say, what kind of man are you? Yeah. They have to marvel. They shouldn't say, they shouldn't even be able to define you as a hip hop artist. They shouldn't be able to define you as a podcaster. They shouldn't be able to define, they should just marvel and just say, hey guys, mm. what's the seven degrees thing? What is it? Yeah. Cause they can't figure it out. It's the same thing they did for Jesus. And it's the same thing they did for his followers. Yeah. Perfecting but the craft in perfecting the craft was there. Yeah. And I'm still working on it. I mean, it's not complete, obviously, mm. but now making it sustainable. So that meant I had to sit down and say, okay, guys, what's in the market? What's happening? What do I have? How does it fit in? Oh, and yeah. how do I make yeah. sure that all these people that are coming in find me? Mm. And the one thing that, uh, and I'll mention it now, I had to write my own music programs. If you compare mm. me to any other teacher around that teach music, you'll realize I don't teach what they do. Yeah. Because I am different. Yeah, I've hey. experienced that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you've experienced. I, I teach, I teach differently. Yeah. Even when I go to a school, I consult in schools, eh? And I, you know, bring my program to the schools, and that's how I see so many children. I show them what I do, and I tell them, "This is what I do. This is what I teach. This is how I teach." If this is not what you want, that's my dad. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, yeah. I, 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 and, and, and that's that's it. And the good thing about that is that it's made me unique. It put me into a space where I'm literally, guys, I'm all by myself currently. Mm. I'm literally, uh, I, 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 I tried to find somebody who can, who's doing what I do or who can do what I do. Yeah. I'm struggling. And the reason, and it's not even for a compet competitive thing. I was trying to find somebody to help me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where I say, dude, the work is so much. Yeah. I need help. Well, mm. uh, yeah. And so that's how now the business side came in. And so now growing it, you know, into making sure that it grows because the more resources you get, the more people you can reach, the further you can go, the more you can do. So now you think of money differently. You don't think of money as, I so just need we're to gonna live. Live. We're going <laughs> to live it up. Hey, we got to, hey, you got to, <laughs> hey. I said, you got to see me in my Ferrari. You got to know, you got to know. Mama. No, I look at money as a tool, as yeah. a resource. Hey, or okay, I get money. What so can I put it into? <laughs> Where can I go to? Well, how yeah. far can I go? Well, that's how now I look at money, you know, because everything else, like I said to, mm. to you, man, God has given me, I've got a house that I'm staying in, comfortable enough for me and my family. Um, I've got a car that I can drive, you know, yeah. I've got food on my table. You know, I can have enough money to even take my family on a little holiday with, you know, Hey, it's, it's just, God has given me that. Yeah. Which is, and the people. <laughs> that, that, now, that now completes, yeah, that, that's now the foundation Finish. of it all. Right. So now the money that I'm looking for is not money that I need for me. Hey, like I, I was just this particular Saturday, I told my friend, I'm praying for him to just get millions. Yeah. Hey, my friends know this. I pray for them for a mid multimillionaire. And they what keep is... saying to me, why don't you pray for yourself? I said, no, I don't need the millions. Mm. Hey, I need you to have the money so yeah. that you can fund what I'm doing. Straight. Hey, <laughs> because I can fund it, yes, with all the money. Yeah. But I, I pray that God blesses you <laughs> so that you then become an example to everybody around you that now we work for God. Yeah. Hey, the money is not for us. 
hey, the money is for doing the work of the Lord. Uh, it's, it's so crazy how yeah. you're saying that because like, even in that way, it's like you're still trying to realign people. Yeah. Like it, it's like <laughs> if, that's, that's the whole if you get what I'm yeah. saying, it's like yeah. subconsciously yeah. you're like, no, yeah. but this guy can also do the work of God. Yeah. You know, like mm. I, I just had to say that it was no, interesting. No, no, no. But, but that's but that's like I said, that now defines. It shows you who I am. Yeah. Just the five minutes I had with Mr. T on this side here. Yeah. Just the five <laughs> minutes I had, I had to make sure that after I leave him, he has something to think about. He's gonna have to go think about it. He's not yeah. coming here only as a minute two. He needs to come here realizing that he's far bigger. 24 hours now. <laughs> <laughs> what what a <laughs> you get my point. So, so, so now that's where the business side of it comes in. So, yeah. I mean, my advice to, even when I talk to him, I say to him, yeah, now start having both sides of the coin in this country because you yeah. need that to survive in this country. Start yeah. looking at, you've got the product, you've got whatever you need to give how now does it reach the people mm. and don't let it be dependent on other people mm. yes mm. Mm. that's the that's the first thing i'll have to advise you on okay don't let your product be defined by somebody else and it's in somebody's mm. hands hey, yeah, it it's, because yes. I mean, dude because if if it's dependent on other people like you're saying if a guy doesn't like you yeah. you're, you're gone oh, and everything dies out very quickly mm. no it has to be defined on you. It has to be defined on how you want to move. You yeah. work with other people. You're not dependent on them. Mm -hmm. And then, by the way, that's, that's something that I, I told guys. God has played me, placed me in a position where I walk into a meeting and I don't need the money. <laughs> that's a very different space. Yeah. When you walk into an interview or Not a meeting, like you sit there <laughs> the and, and, you're saying, and you're saying to them, listen, forget the money. Let's put it to the side. Yeah. Let's just talk. What is, it, what is it that we're achieving? What do you actually want out yeah. of Hey, this? what yeah, are we yeah. achieving together? Because like, what I've picked up is that People don't, are not actually interested in the money. If we're genuinely being honest, yeah. when people realize how much influence you have mm. that's what they're interested yeah. in they'll yeah. throw any number at you yeah, they'll, then, yeah. they'll tell you all the nice things like yeah. try and convince the and the, the the one thing I've, I've picked up is that sometimes the mistake we might make is that okay i'm working with god he'll protect me from everything we we kind of become dumb in a way mm. the devil is intelligent yeah we've like become people naive. we become yeah. like yeah that's yeah, the right way yeah, we become right. naive people will play you Oh yeah. Mm. They will yeah. play you. Yeah. Like they'll actually pay attention to what you're saying and they'll say all the nice things. Mm. Only up until you you, you sit down, you you figure you 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 think what about it. Do. Yeah, you think about <laughs> it and, and, and you go back to what I'm saying. Put the what you're saying, yeah. put the money aside. Yeah. Mm. What is this actually about? Yeah. And once they reach your influence, that means they can corrupt your influence. Mm. That means they can yeah. get into the space that you are inside. And that's that's it, not good. That's not good, man. That's not good. And and I think that's the that's the space you have to now get a you have to get to that mindset where you're not chasing the money. Mm. Yeah. Hey. And yeah. and listen to guys like uh what's this guy? Vusi. Yeah. You know, take time to inform yourself. Yeah. I, I I like the stuff he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. Miles me too. Monroe, go around, just yeah. listen to guys. Hey, hey. Even as yeah, a creative, yeah, I always yeah. tell guys, just listen. Mainly for your own life, I want. Yeah. Hey, I know our space is more creating stuff, but just listen now for mm. for your growth, I want. I remember one time he was talking about how his pricing structure is. It was a short clip I saw. I, I know I didn't do all. I didn't listen to the whole thing, but he was saying, you know, he emphasizes more on the value he's adding exactly. before he even puts down the price. Mm. By the time he's done talking about the value people are not afraid to write him a blank check. yeah and i think you get the, yeah. hey I've, I've also well trying to adopt that same yeah. thing and i implement it in my line of work yeah. or what i'm trying to do because ever since i came about that concept of value-based pricing i i, I <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise yeah because yeah. i've been telling even some of uh, the, the colleagues at school and trying to, to 
pursuing some side hustles and getting into this architectural work and all that. Mm-hmm. But okay, right now I've just discovered with one of the classes that there's a framework that has been created in terms of how we're, pri- we're supposed to be pricing our architectural designs in school. Mm-hmm. And it's an hourly based thing. Right. Yet when you look up creative, uh, whatever, create, yeah, things in the creative space, mm-hmm. architecture pops up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Art yeah. pops up. Mm-hmm. They are all within the same mm-hmm. category. Mm-hmm. And yet, art is priced differently than architecture. Yeah. How? Art, How? Art is priced on emotion. Okay. Yeah, on <laughs> That's it. true. Yeah. But yeah, exactly, yeah. it's all in the, the, the value that me as the consumer looking at the art you've, cre- you've created, I yeah. esteem it to be, yeah. or I want it to be. Yeah. It's all in the value. So when you look at the same way you look at an artwork, look at a house. But okay, I want to live in a house. I consider a house or architecture as art that you live in. Mm. It's the same thing. It's just that you can live in one and use the other to decorate. <laughs> yeah. So if you look at it in that way, there's no how you can say, okay, okay, 20 pula per hour. No, that's true. <laughs> that's true. that doesn't make sense. So, so bad. I think mm. that's, the, that's the, the element of business that I can add. I can say I can add value to it, guys, and say, listen, get to that point where your value that you're adding is so high that guys yeah. are not afraid to throw money at you. Yeah. What are the, it's one of those really they feel you undercharge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and a lot of people, you know, who's, who've been in my spaces will tell you, I undercharge and I do it deliberately. Yeah, so that the money comes uh, in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do it deliberately because my intention is not the money. My intention is the people, mm. the impact. Yeah. I, you see, I, I want to meet people, mm-hmm. you know. So I deliberately, literally undercharge. Hey. Oh, you undercharge? I yeah. undercharge. Oh, okay, okay, I, I okay, undercharge. Okay. I don't yeah. charge you my worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Hey, if I was to charge you my worth now, <laughs> uh, Different chance, ball chances ball. are a lot of people wouldn't be able to afford mm-hmm. <laughs> where I go. But then... Yeah. The, <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> but knowing me, knowing me, I would, hey, yeah. but I don't, so so, you realize now my objective is different, <laughs> and the, the the fun thing about it is I like coming out of a space and somebody says, "Hey man, I feel like I owe you more," <laughs> I would, and you tell them, "No, don't worry, it was a gift. Yeah. It was a gift." Hey, and so that's that's how your objective defines what you're going for. Mm. And so it's the same thing I said to a minute too, that you don't make, got to make sure whatever your value is, it's bigger. It's far bigger than the yeah. song. You know, it's far bigger than the song. So you balance all of this out, especially in this space, because it's not yet ready for full creatives. Because mm. full creatives, man, like you said, value is based on perception. Yeah. And the people have to have a certain level of income. And information. And information. Yeah. Mm. Like you said, I'll look at a painting and I'll, it'll just make me feel good and I'll say, this is worth a million. Yeah. Funny story. <laughs> I've got a guy I went to school with. Um, he's now in New York. He's a professor at the University of New York. Yeah. I haven't checked recently, but that's where he was the last time. This guy, when we were in high school, he used to love art and he also was good at athletics. So first stage was he got a scholarship in athletics to the U.S., yeah. While he was there, he ran so hard <laughs> that he got a university scholarship. <laughs> but his love for art always stayed. Mm. And then, and he started because he was missing home. He started drawing home, uh-huh. mud hearts. You know, hello, quality. Yeah. Okay. The last time I remember, he was here in town. In town, and we were talking. He had just done his own gallery show. His artwork, one painting was worth 20,000 US. <laughs> that was the cheapest, by the way. <laughs> and all it was, yes. was still the mud huts, uh, khotla, people sitting at a khotla. That's all it was. Mm. Now, if you had taken the same painting and brought it here, how much do you think we would have paid for it? Mm. Yeah. Well, I don't <laughs> the perception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Otro y lento, ¿qué va a hacer? 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 Now, that's where the, the, yeah. the, the, the art value is. Yeah. Now, most people will not appreciate you yet because their minds mm. and bots are not ready for that yet. Yeah. Wow, and, and speaking on that, yeah, speaking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, speaking on that, I want to add, or, uh, recently saw a clip on uh, another one by VT as well talking about first knowledge or the concept of first oh, knowledge yes, yes, and know. as soon as i said i was like this is really key mm. and i've never really thought about it in mm. this way mm. and what it means is the, i'll use the example he gave or go back in time to the to the 1800s and tell people who are, you want to, to sell them bitcoin <laughs> <laughs> First of all, Bitcoin operates on the internet. Mm. The first question they're going to ask you is, what is the internet to begin with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. What is the computer? They don't have the the first knowledge to be able to understand, to be able to get to the final product. So what we normally do is we preempt or get people to the final product without taking them through the process to understand what this is, where it's coming from, or this is what we're trying to do. Take people step by step. Don't just jump all the way over to Bitcoin without introducing us to the internet in the first no, place. No, I love that. Um, I, I wanted to jump in at uh, that point. Yeah. Yes, I, if, I, I, if, I, if I forget, if I forget there's, a, there's, let me, because I teach kids, I love putting things in simplicity. Okay. Yeah. Simplest way to consume. Okay. You, you spoke about that. Um, and I was going to say to you, when I got into business, you know, years, like uh, maybe 15 years ago or so when I was starting to get into it, yeah. there were things that we brought, you know, that we then got to realize, oh, no, we're too early. Yeah. Way too early. Like guys, the things that guys are doing now, mm. I was trying to convince people to do about 15 years ago. Mm. And I was talking to a guy sitting at a table in a nice suit and I'm showing him this concept and, he, and he's nodding his head mm, but and then it. and he's not getting it. And then after that, he, he talks about something that's way less than what you're offering. Yeah. Oh, oh, but God, can you do, but can you do that? Mm. I'm way ahead. Yeah. And that's something that I was going to say um, a, a minute to have you ever thought because we were talking about the pools for the creatives, okay? Yeah. Firstly, we spoke about the population is small. Then the genre is specific. It makes the pool even yeah. smaller. Yeah. Now, here's where the challenge comes in. How do the people even access that? Yeah. Do you realize that majority of the population is not even sort of technology yeah. friendly? Yeah. Hey, good. people are just catching up to, you know, uh, Facebook. Or Facebook yeah. link. But you are jumping into streaming platforms. Mm. And <laughs> and hoping and hoping mm. you're gonna do well. When are they still analog? Guys still don't understand what that is. And then you go perform Kopalape or something, and the majority of the people ask you, what, "CD you guy, Mister? Hey. No, I'm on Spotify. <laughs> CD you <laughs> guy. <laughs> no, skip on Spotify. <laughs> CD you guy. Because the, the 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 person who has mm. to support you, all they have at home, they don't even have Wi-Fi. Yeah, they have. What you call it? They have bar supply, data, and then they have a CD player. That's the best thing they can do. I want. Yeah. So now you got you have to look at that element. What the environment you're in has not caught up. If you're going to go into a Spotify environment, now you need to sell to consumers by Spotify. By Spotify. Oh. Hey, yeah. go to spaces where now Wi-Fi is readily available. Guys, understand it. I want. It does open up that. But the other thing guys don't think about it is that how many artists are on Spotify also? Yeah. It means now <laughs> oh, yeah. you know what I mean? And also that means the pool is bigger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, competition is way competition larger. Competition is way larger. So my advice, especially to guys here, use the streaming platforms as a marketing tool. Mm-hmm. And then take people to your space. Yeah. Have your own website. You know, start there, where you put your own stuff, mm. have your own mode of transferring whatever music you're pushing. Right? Yeah. And then use the streaming platform, or whether you're single and love what you do and rush over. 
to the website. But don't mm. give everything there. Yeah. Because you won't get the full effect. Yeah. Uh, hey, you won't really get the numbers. The, the, the stream platform is basically a trailer of what's hey, in there. So like a <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a stepping stone, yeah. So 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 you you look at all of that in its entirety. You don't just look at the small space and you look at your head and you look at this or uh, what. Um, and generally, guys, having been in bots for some time, very few guys are doing very well when it comes to, like, sales, yeah, music sales. Yeah. A lot of guys do well in terms of corporate gigs. Mm. Hey, a lot of guys do corporate gigs. That's where guys are pushing. I want. Mm. So you guys have to think of yourselves as trailblazers. You are now making the way. Chances are it is your little brothers and your that nephews would, yeah. that are going to start reaping the benefits. Yeah, yeah. Now you're doing it as a cause. You're preparing the way. Creating hey, a legacy. Creating a legacy. Uh, if not, move out, guys. Go, go, <laughs> go to spaces that might allow you to grow. Because yeah. this space here is not yet there. Here yeah. you have to think a little different. Yeah. So in terms of businessman, now that's how you think in terms of business. Mm understand your consumers, what knowledge base they have. Um, church guys, and this is, I'm going to be very unpopular because I tell, I tell, I tell church groups, and this is, I say to them a lot, Jorge, you guys waste too much time. If you want to grow, you waste too much time singing in the church. Definitely. Very unpopular. Thing. Very unpopular. Definitely. And the reason why I say it's, it's, it's wasted. It's because church guys don't pay you. Maybe about money. How can how can this are invoice? But funny thing is, <laughs> they pay me. Hey, foreign crew. But <laughs> yeah, but remember this: as a creative man, there's hours put into preparing preparing for that. There's yeah. time put into it. Oh, what? There's there's actually, and to be good at it, some of you have to book places to practice. Yeah. So there's a cost implication to it. Mm. So when guys invite you, they need to know to uh, traveling to those invitations. And people keep, t- and here's where now the exploitation comes in. They tell you it's the work of God. Yeah, yeah guys, you're doing it <laughs> for the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it for the work of God. And I keep reminding guys that, yes, but the work of God is not limited to the church. What yeah. you have just done as a church group is go sing to the choir. Those people are there because they know God. Yeah. You the get the idea? Outside. Hey, you're going there for the amens. Mm. They know God already, mm. but they're making you pay. So all you've now become is entertainment. Yeah. Mm. That's all you've become. Now, mm. you guys have grown up in the same church that I have. I told guys that music groups have now become the naked lady in an advertising ad. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know that naked lady or M3? Yeah. M3. <laughs> hey, and then mentally a guy feels like if I drive an M3, M3. <laughs> that naked lady will appear. Yeah. So, because subconsciously, that's what music groups have become. Because what yeah. happens is now, any program that happens, no, this group is Music, be yeah, yeah, yeah. Music is going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people rush over. But realize this that program, even without you as a group, will still happen. Exactly. But you are spending money, taking out of your coffers for somebody else's program. Mm. And then at the end of the day, we ask you, what have you achieved as a musician, as a yeah. whatnot? And then you say, no, I went to this, I went to that. And I say to you, no, that stuff wasn't yours. Mm. That was somebody's item. They could have You're still done it without someone. you. You mm. were just aiding it. Yeah. But you spent money. Mm. Rather now start thinking differently and saying, okay. Because I'm at church, can we go to worship? Yeah. I go there because I'm, I'm already going to church. So I'll, go, I'll come to your church because I'm already going to church at some point. Yeah. But if I'm going to have to now put in more fuel than I normally would to go to church, <laughs> ah, hey, you fund it. <laughs> hey, I can't pay for you, for your thing. Mm. So I tell you, no, Bon, Mr. Warkete Kumule Polo Liker. No, 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 you know, hey, but they don't want to get them Hey, no, that's a different ballgame. So, I'm going to get them all. 
Mm. If you can't fund it, no, don't worry. Worship, then I get worship. It's okay. <laughs> it's not that deep, yeah. and I haven't broken your program. Your program will still go on. God mm. will exactly. still be with you, mm. and God will still be with me. Yeah. Hey, we haven't forsaken God. Yes. Hey, it's just that the resources do not allow. Mm. Mm. But now that's why I now focus on what I do, yeah. the projects I do. And the sacrifices are into what God has called me to do. Mm. Not if God has called you to do something, spend money there. Yeah. But if you call me into it, it means budget for me also. Mm. Hey, for example, I, I, when guys invite me these days in their churches, I tell them, listen, I can afford to bring myself. Don't worry about it. But here's what I give them a task. I say to them, I've got seven albums out. Okay? Mm-hmm. Seven albums. I'm going to give you 40 CDs. Make sure they're gone by the time I get there. Mm. Now that's you helping me as I help you. Yeah. Ah uh, what? Mm. Yeah. So by the time I get there, you sell my let's say the CD for you know for math sake is 100 pula. By the time I get there, you've supported my work. Yeah. By giving me four thousand pula. Mm. Mm. You get the idea. Yeah. I fooled myself. I came to help your program. Yeah. Yours went well. I come out of it with something that will help my projects also. Mm-hmm. You get. Ah, mm. uh, you get the idea. So, And so, technically, they're not losing anything. Technically, no, yeah. 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 And everybody sort of wins. The people yeah. that got it enjoy it. Got it. It's it's a well, we work together. It's there's no exploitation. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I said the mindset has to be different, my guy, when it comes to us here in bots. Mm. It has to be very different. Now I'm speaking. That's a small space of church. Mm. That's a church space. Just a start, little yes. space. A little watch. SDA church. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, uh, yesterday, you, you, when you were calling me and I was telling you I'm at my last show, that wasn't an Adventist church. I was now in another church altogether. Mm-hmm. You know, and they operate very differently. You yeah. know, in the sense that they ask you, you know, what do we need to get you here? And then while you're there, they leave and give an offering. But after giving you the money that I was required, they even have a special offering because they appreciate the value uh-huh. of what you brought in. in this. Mm. <laughs> you get the idea. So yeah. that's now another ball game altogether. And then now in my in my space, because I deal a lot with schools now, because I notice that's where the children are. Yeah. Now I, I just just before I came here, I was in a meeting with another school that's mm. starting up, and we we're talking about how we can help each other. Mm. And this is where my conversation goes. I tell them, listen, this is what I do, and this is how I can add value to you. Yeah. Uh, what? This is you can choose where how you want me to add value, but we grow together. Yeah. And at the end of the day. This is what it would take for me to be able to add value. Meaning, I count my expenses, I count how I pay my teachers, I count, and I tell you, this is the minimum amount. Wow, uh, let's go, uh, let's operate. If you can't reach this minimum amount, it means we can't work. Yeah. It's an answer. And yes, you know what I like about everything you've been saying is so how unapologetic you are about you, it. like. Yeah. You like mean, so street yeah. logic, yeah. <laughs> logic. Yes. <laughs> ah, hey. Like it's yeah. so straightforward, it you know. It has to be. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything, yeah. and this is something I was teaching guys Maloba. That this year has been one of the things I was saying to them. Anything that you don't understand logically, stay away from it. There's God's perspective is always clear and simple. Man's perspective. And you don't want to learn the hard way, um, mm. uh, because guys don't understand this. Sometimes they think fame equals money. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes they they believe that the more we make noise about your name and whatnot, that means money comes. Uh, but, mm. but that's generally not the case, especially if you've understood the music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, you can be popular, man. We can be talking about you. Wow, and, hey. and then I remember seeing a video on YouTube. One guy was saying he had the number hit, one number hit, 
so number, number one, one hit song yeah. in the US mm. for two weeks running for two <laughs> weeks running in, on the streaming platforms and all he made out of in the was, US that's like a US. population of and almost 400 million it, people okay was 20,000 US dollars out of a population of almost 400 but he million was the most popular guy for two weeks in that population where we wow. think guys are doing well and so this guy was talking and and you can check it out that's why i, I was thinking of putting my stuff on streaming platforms mm. and so i did my research went and checked out and i don't just listen to guys by long that you are positively talking i also go to the other side and yeah. check mm. and so i found these guys and they're there on youtube i forgot their names but just you know if you check out you know the the downsides of streaming platforms i then started understanding how the structure is mm. how you know you know some of these items they're not meant for the new guy who comes in mm. the big guys are the ones that will take a good chunk of the money got how money is distributed. Yeah. And that's when I realized because I'm here in this country, the streaming platforms don't work for me. Mm-hmm. But not I told you, one Sabbath visit. Okay? I can come out of that with 4000 dinner. Do you know how much streaming you have to do to get 4000? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now can you imagine I can do that with one Sabbath? Now imagine if I consistently did four sevens. Mm. <laughs> uh, now you see now I'm I'm at a salary level. Yeah. Mm. But li- that's literally something I was still going to do. I was still going to go to church. You get the idea? Mm. It's not work. <laughs> you're still going to go to church. I was still going to sing for the kids and we're going to teach something. Yeah. But you get the idea that now it's different you have to think differently that's why i ended up deciding you know what um which i'm going to do ne- i'm launching my website next year mm. and i put my online store on the website so instead of people now Excuse me. hey you don't need to go to uh, go if you want uncle sign you go to uncle sign yeah. don't go to apple to find uncle sign yeah hey, the same amount of effort you do to click on apple is the same amount of effort yeah. you click to get to me My point is, and if you're a true supporter of who I am, yeah, you, you don't need Apple. Hey, you'd rather give me the chunk of the money. <laughs> hey, don't, don't give me 20 cents. Yeah. Hey, give me that chunk mm. so that I can do more. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I got like the ball game. Think differently. Think logically. Think clearly. Mm. Do your research well. See your, got to see how you're going to flow, you know. And then also notice how small the pool is and know where to go yeah. to find your people. And at some point, you're going to have to lose some money. Yeah, that's... Yeah, hey, <laughs> to make sure you get yeah. to that right platform. And be prepared yeah. for it. It's an investment. Don't think about it as losing money. <clears throat> wow, but, um, I was, just two weeks ago, I was just listening to something and guys were saying... They were looking at how different nations deal in business. Mm-hmm. I love the Japanese, eh? And that's my yeah. advice, yeah. guys. Just for character's sake, follow that culture. Uh, but they said the Japanese, they are more interested in their reputation. Mm. They don't want to lose a client. Mm. They even lose money. Or uh, they make sure their product is so well done. That's why Toyota's do it. Mm. They're the best. You can't. You can't go wrong <laughs> if you own a Toyota. Go to Toyotas that, uh, yeah. that were there even before we were born are still there right now. Because of their mentality. It wasn't even a money thing. It was because they believe they have to build something that quality. is worth it. Quality yeah. that will last somebody. And when they feel like they're losing the market, they will go out of their way to make sure you get a little something to bring you back and ask you, what did we do wrong? Because mm. they don't want their name tarnished. Yeah. Well, but unlike the Americans, you know, the Americans, on the other hand, they think market share. Quantity. Shit. Quantity. <laughs> well, but, so big American guys will come in to a market and say, for the next five years, we're going to work at a loss. But they'll charge minimally. Mm. Hey, minimally. <laughs> so that they have a good chunk of the market and kill their competition. Yeah. But the guys will work there and they'll budget for it. They'll know for the next five years, guys, they're more lossy. Mm. Hey, and even when they have the capital to start off, they're more lossy. They know that. Mm. But after five years, they now jump to super profits. 
because they're the only ones in that space. Oh. They killed everybody else. <laughs> That's what a monopoly. Yeah. So in one year, the five years that they lost, they'll recover it in one year. The following year is just... <laughs> so, so you have to think differently in terms of your spaces. Hey, think the Chinese are different in the sense that Bonanum, they're trying to just grow. Yeah. Hey, and, and if you know the Chinese well, if you've seen what they do, they cater for everybody. Because Baba and Zee, they have to make sure even the... Of they, they'll have the cheap stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> know that Harakas Tacos is a machine. How's a rally every day? Yeah. Yeah, it's not one you need to survive for three months. <laughs> hey, it's one you know you use temporarily. <laughs> ten days hey, max. ten days max. <laughs> and uh, for the price you paid for it, yeah, it makes sense. It makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. Yeah. But also, if you want quality stuff, they do have the stores that have quality. Yeah. Where you get in. Dude, when I was slightly maybe, how, I don't know how old are now but you're in your 20s right yeah. yeah yeah when i was 20 i think just 20 21 that's when the chinese came into the city i discovered them somehow because i'm, I'm very particular about how i spend my money yeah let me tell you what i used to do at that point shoes i could get them for 30 bucks <laughs> so with my allowance ub allowance at that point was 800 bucks mm. okay I'd go into a Chinese store and buy four pairs of formal shoes. Yeah, mm. that would be 120, okay? Yeah. And I could get a suit for like 80 bucks. Yeah, mm. hey, and whatever I'd get a nice suit. black suit. And whatever suits, I used to look out for that and I'd get a nice black suit and whatnot. The most expensive thing I always used to get was my ties. My ties were the ones that were actually very expensive. <laughs> Because I didn't get these cool words. It was actually the most expensive thing in my... But here's the catch. Every Sabbath meal, I was in a different suit, I was in a different shoe. One time, let me tell you this, something that my mom told me and I didn't know. The MD, okay? Yeah. Wow, what we call now, called Balo Weld and stuff. Mm. Okay, but not the one in Gap, but the one in Francis Town. Came to her one time, I'm like, hey, Botswani are living the life to have parents with so much money. <laughs> this guy every week, man, has a nice shoe and a nice suit on. I hear this guy. And my mom said, I don't give that young boy money at all. That guy buys his shoes from a Chinese. <laughs> hey, he says, that guy gets his shoes from a chain. And guess what? My friends, I tried to teach them the same thing. Yeah. They struggled to understand. Mm. Mm. But you would never say I'm dressed in yeah. something that's low quality. My suits, by the way, let me tell you what happened with all those Chinese suits. Even after 12 years, okay, when I got married, okay, this was at 29, I bought these suits, Killer 21. I was giving away those suits. As in, they were still alive mm. nine years later mm. in good condition enough to give away. Mainly because I didn't use them. Yeah. Like, I'd use them for the Sabbath and put them away. Yeah. Next week, I'll only see it next month, dude. I'm not going to see it. Rotation. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that, that, by the way, that's how you now start. How come I got a perception? You guys use clothes as, what do you call it? To make themselves feel yeah. a little better. Yeah. You need to make the clothes, man. Be able to wear Mr. Price, okay? Yeah. And still be who you are. Sit with a guy who appearing Juju Armani or whoever it is. Mm. And the guy still realizes or no, but I need yeah. to hear what this guy is. <laughs> mm, mm. Get the idea? Mm. So, so uh, that's why, man, the mentality has to be different. Yeah. We have to think differently. I think, so I'm waiting to hear what this guy has in plan for his music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I that, think that, that, <laughs> as, 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 we, this. as we wrap up, um, probably just one last question for, for you. Um, and then he can ask whatever he wants to ask. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So there was a part, what I want to say four things, right? Mm. Going back to the part where you're like the space, oh, yeah, understanding yeah. who you are. Mm. I have two lyrics, right? Well, let me say quotes. In the first verse for Tato's Heartbreak, I'm like, um, I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but, uh, it's like, it's like, um, 
Basically, I'm saying show love to the real. Oh yeah, show love to the real before the dagger makes them bleed. That's okay. The first verse, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then second verse now towards the end, I'm like, don't you love yourself? Because the ones you love are weak. Mm. All right. So it goes back to that love thing where you're like, okay, fine. That's why I was like, don't forget the most important. You got to yeah, that you love, that right? You love, yeah, so I feel love. like, for me, going back to that conversation, it was like a situation whereby it's like, you don't know or you don't know who to love. You don't, the definition of love, of love nowadays, sorry, is broad. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. you love someone because he, they're putting you on this podcast, for example. Mm-hmm. You love someone because he mentioned you in a name. Yeah. I mean, you know, so he mentioned your name in a song. Yeah. You know what I mean, you love someone because they took a good picture of you. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, you know transactional. Yeah. it's transactional. It's yeah. transactional. Yeah. So that's why I was like, don't you love yourself because the ones you love are weak. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was talking about, if you listen to that song, it might be like I'm talking in a first person or third person, but I'm actually just like talking about myself and like, you know, different items. When I was like, learn to love yourself, I was talking to myself. Oh, yeah. Because if I love myself, I know. Going back to what you're saying yeah, yeah. about the wife thing and the phone, like you need her or you need certain people in your life to remind you your goal yeah. or how you're supposed to be And and you're also comfortable enough to have one woman. Yeah. Because you don't you don't need the validation from a, from like a lot of women. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Also back to the issue yeah, the Chinese shoes, right? Yeah. I remember in the first year I was bugging because I was like I remember I dropped uh, an EP that five four checks. I, I dropped it one day, I didn't get plays. I'm talking like I had two and five plays. And it was, it, I just looked at it, I'm like, okay, maybe this is not I did it for you. People were like, bro, this, this stuff is good because you're starting. Why are you doing it? Yeah. And I'm mm-hmm. like, that validation. I'm trying to get uh, so and so's numbers. I'm trying yeah. to go on that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It happened in 2019 whereby I had a feature, where I gave a feature to the home, shout out to Tabs. It's for people. Hey, yeah, that's so much <laughs> heat. <laughs> Yo! Hey! hey. It was like, I remember there was some list that I would do. So many names passed. And then for some reason, my homie, or uh, yeah, someone used to work with Nico, he was there. And then he showed me, like, bro, your name is also here, 1259. I was like, bro, mm, I'm not putting shade on myself, but mm. no key, nobody. So how did you get there? Bro? Yeah. So mm. it's a situation whereby it's like, that small effort, I might have put in that verse to mm. meet someone else. Mm-hmm. I didn't have time to appreciate myself for yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. I wanted yeah. Uncle yeah. Sweaty to tell me, I wanted Gamo to tell me, I wanted Togo to talk about it. Yeah. You know so that's yeah. why I'm like addressing that whole space issue. I wanted to say that. Mm. Then also, sorry, um, going back to uh, the issue, yeah, the, 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 the music now. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So even right now, my marketing, I'm still working on my marketing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But first year again, uh, a good hold your mind towards the name slash Creole. Yeah, yeah, Creole. He was like, um, yo, there was a track that we dropped, it was trap, and I felt like I was forcing it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And he was like, yeah, bro, it's lit, you know, you're doing your thing, but you guys need to find your voice before people understand you that it's not true. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. So it goes back to. This this very cool, you know what I mean? Yeah. Company yeah. asking me, and you're like, what inspired it, mm-hmm. or what led to you saying that? You know what I mean? I also had the same type of reasoning. I was careful with what I wanted to say. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I didn't want to say heartbreak even to be like, man, F that girl. Yeah. F, mm-hmm. F that girl. Yeah. True, true, true. Yeah. But I took it from a different perspective because I'm like, I was hurting. I stopped hurting. Find a reason to heal. Mm. After finding a reason to heal, now there are these small things that I really need to overcome. Yeah. About yeah. So, so I'm like, Tato's heartbreak is not about the show heartbreak. It's about the problems that we're facing. Yeah. As men, black yeah. men, yeah. racism. You gotta be a strong, independent guy in society. You know what I mean? For example, like I was saying, in my situation, my partner or my mom, <laughs> my mom was like the or well, still is like the you know the, the big parent or what oh, so yeah. as a black guy as a black man seeing that or other people seeing that it's a problem you know what i mean it's like where, where, where is the is your dad mm. yeah. yeah they don't yeah. recognize me because i'm i'm still younger yeah. or they yeah. just belittle me or mm. so that's why i was like that heartbreak is not about an actual heartbreak it's just about the problems that we face so we face first yeah. half mm. and that's why second half i'm like my music has the element of romance, and yeah. 
And speaking from the heart is my life the fairy tale. Looking for the gola of the ladder we prevail. Doing something with the last you know, corner I did. <laughs> yeah, so, um, that's the lyric. <laughs> Doing something with the last corner. With the last corner. Yeah, you know, and it's not like I'm glorifying doing no, that. It's like yeah. I'm just yeah. telling you. What, what? Oh yes, man! Yeah. No, that's true. Oh man! Mm, that's you know, bad. it's yeah. settling in my head. You know, you know why? Cause like, honestly, I, I, when I saw it, I was like, this guy's lyrics. They made the, like he's telling a story. I just really couldn't understand what the story was about. <laughs> right? To be honest, like yeah. I was just wondering: Are you glorifying the lifestyle, or are you trying to preach a message? Right? And yeah. as you're saying it right now, like talking about the struggle, yeah. it, it, you're trying to shed light on the struggle, right? Yeah. It, it, yeah. it makes sense. It, it makes sense. sense. Yeah. Now it makes sense. Yeah. When it starts, it's like a light drink into the cup. Hey. So you fire. My problems are like, important to the cup. I'm going yeah. to tell you what's happening. And the funny thing is that cup on its own is like it's, it's a mug. Yeah. You know, like it's a mug. It's, it's, it's a like mug. It's, <laughs> ah yeah yeah yeah. yeah. And then now I take the last sip and I'm like okay if I don't see you guys later. Yeah. Or what is something more? Let's cut that. Yeah. 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 My last point I want to take a lot of time was about the uh, issue of streaming. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, I was listening to the song My Flame. I forgot the specific track. But there's a sample or a snippet where I think it's probably Nipsey House. It's like, or probably Snoop Dogg, I'm not sure. Um, pardon me for that. He's like, speaking about for Spotify, he's like, Spotify is not a day one person. Mm. You know, the music that you drop today shouldn't be validated or, what can I say, have higher value like you're saying because of Spotify. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Spotify yeah. Is, is going to be there, but you're not going to be there. Mm. You know what I'm so, what really matters is what you have. Like yes, exactly. yes. So I feel like also when you to Kenya, you're talking about the content. Yeah. Us as Botswana ex, Botswana yeah. hip hop yeah. ex, like you were saying, very at the start of the, the conversation, distracted. How can I move like, hey, I did this with this girl. Yeah. I did this with that guy's girl. Mm. Okay, you get that, you are that guy, shark, but. What's my little brother going to be? Mm. Yeah. 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 I've had a yeah. situation whereby I'm not trying to put my niece on blast like that, but she was listening or singing some of the other stuff. And I'm like, yo, what's up? Oh, yeah. It is not. Yeah. Not because I'm hitting on you, because I'm a hip hop kid. It's because, like, the what you're hearing, mm. you know what I mean? Imagine her like, chilling with your niece and your nephew. <laughs> but you're looking at the dancing and you're like, mm, that's a little bit too spicy for your age. Don't yeah, talk yeah, about, yeah. Talk yeah. about this, this new artist, <laughs> Ty. Is it Tyler? Tyler, yeah. I just saw a video yesterday. Yeah. Nine, what, eight year olds? No, just nine, eight year olds doing what she was doing in a. Uh, I don't know. If, I think there's a video, yeah, a live yeah. performance that she was shaking and drinking yeah. a telemedia. And these eight-year-olds are just doing the same thing, and the parents are literally recording it. Yeah. And they're happy. <laughs> and shoot, where are we going with that? You know? It's 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 actually like it's it's quite sad. Um, the kind of voice we're trying to bring into the world, like the, the positivity, all that stuff, and the other the other side is like quick gratification. Mm. Oh, okay, we're gonna be naked on trekking, all that yeah. stuff. And you know what's even sadder? Is that on social media it pushes more negativity than the positive? <laughs> that's what that's, that's yeah. what I'm trying to I'm trying to get to. Like my sadness stems from the fact that that's what's mainstream. The good stuff is it's it's like when you're digging through the the yeah. the, the rubbish and you, you pick up the gold and you're like <laughs> you're like yeah. it's been so long yeah. I haven't been listening to a minute to like yeah. what's going on Very you know true. but yeah like I just. I'm having a newfound appreciation for 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 your work. Like he he got it first hand. That's why he keeps saying, "I want to see where you're taking the journey." Yeah. And now I'm here. I'm like, okay, this is this is, this is actually crazy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, because yeah. I was so rapping him, I'm like, um, I gave him <laughs> kind of exclusives for the songs. But <laughs> as you know, we're all SDA right? yeah. 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 so mm. you guys have an understanding of how it works or what mm. so i don't know if you guys were there but i had a conversation with uncle Lebo when we were doing the 
that group that we had. Spence, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Spence, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ambassador, yeah. Just like all these stuff, and I was like, yo, what those specs? Cause I'm kind of into the, the yeah. music stuff, so yeah. So remember say, that day? Hey, you remember that time? Remember I was like, hey, so what if it happens that you know I might try to make music? He's like, no, music is working. I mean, searching. Okay, I got that. But, but like, man, what if I'm trying to make some music like J Cole? You know, spread the message, blah blah blah, like help someone's. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, I hear you, but it's still searching. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, as much as my music might be secular, the elements whereby I bring in SDA. Mm-hmm. I'm not just rapping about girls, I'm not just rapping yeah. about heartbreak. Mm-hmm. Seven day went to spread to God and let them perish. Yeah. That's, that's actually, I was trying to ask you, yeah. Uncle Sonny, that question. Like, honestly, I want to get to a point where we're able to, to have these conversations, we're having the conversation. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, I want to ask you, like, how can we do it? Honestly, like how, how maybe if it's something for you to think about how do you think we can navigate the space where we're pushing a positive message and it's not from our own lens but it's from god's lens you know because yeah. i don't think things like rap music can just come about that's yeah. poetry now now, you know? now now let me let me I don't even need to think mm. about it, man. It's mm. something I teach already. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, but I'll summarize it because it does take, <laughs> it does take, like I said, a, a certain level of thinking to get to where it comes from. Okay. You guys are now, you understand how I roll now yeah. in terms of even logic and whatnot. Okay. First of all, you have to think one, um, <clears throat> how is the music built or created for example how is rap music and where and how was it built and what was it for if you kind of get into the way it's designed and where it came from it was more like an expression isn't it it was more like an expression but mostly you'll find that it was a way of trying to avoid violence avoid. physical violence it was to avoid the violence. first part of what? rap music before we got things like hip hop and all that it was created to avoid gang violence guys were noticing that black people are killing each other mm. as gangs or what so instead they said what's the point we are being oppressed by somebody else yeah, but we are killing each other hey, well, well. Yeah. so they said no listen this is the best way let's battle it out with the words oh. yeah. well, well. so now that's where even its design is built okay now, the scary thing is it, it evolved because it came from a space where guys were battling. Yeah. It mm. means that it becomes very violent mm. in itself. But mm. now it evolved, it evolved to a way that now it became, it started fitting in other elements where now we are talking about the wrong things we are doing. You get the idea? Because that's why you're talking about, like I will talk about, I slept with you. Oh, and it just got to that point. You know, so in its creation itself, it was never positive. And by the way, even its design it was never positive. Okay, this is not me hitting on hip hop or rap. Okay, this is just me now on logic. Mm, yeah. Okay, that's why you'll find that it's the same thing that you get with, with heavy metal, rock music. You'll find that a lot of times the majority, I mean, there's obviously comfortable, sort of relaxed stuff, but the majority of the space. It's very violent, it's very hard hitting, it's very a lot of times, even if you've attended a show like that, it's similar. Mm. But here's this that's now that's what it was created for. The biggest thing you can do is you need now, if you're going to try and make it work, you're gonna have to change its form. <laughs> because you you you're trying to use it for the wrong thing. Okay, it's like me uh-huh. coming in with my formal shoe into a basketball court. Yeah. And saying, like, guys, <laughs> it works, it's a shoe, it's a shoe. No, uh, but if you really want to carry out the same item, you're going to have to change its form in itself from its inception. Yeah. Meaning, if you're talking about poetry and rhythm, okay, you're going to even have to go down to the DNA of that and switch the cadences. If you guys, now, if you go technical, you guys, hip hop is built on the one and the three beat. You're a musician, you know what yeah. I'm talking about. And that's why it's, it's a little off beat. And that's why we have, you get my point? This is how mm. it is. This is how it is. Yeah. It has a bar. Now, the difference is that 
the way the body hears it, because the body hears without you thinking. It hears it with a heartbeat also. Your heartbeat starts mm. following the same. So if you're going to carry positive message, you are going to have to change this, the, the rhythm from the, 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 the what do you call it, the, the DNA. Yeah, yeah. That's why you can get a hip hop guy if he does a slow love jab. Mm. If you listen to the movement, it's no, it doesn't feel like hip hop anymore because it's changed even the way it's designed. Now it becomes poetry. Oh, I thought I'd get out And that's where I tell, now getting very deeply to it, when we become SDAs, I tell guys that, listen, we can't have hip hop gospel. We don't have that. We don't have Christian gospel. We don't, we, what? we don't have that because as a hip hop guy, the minute you try and bring gospel into it, you've broken all my rules. Hip hop was not built for that. Mm. Yeah. So that's why, by the way, hip hop artists will never respect gospel hip hop guys. Hey, they always feel like, no, you're failing us technically. That's not what this was designed for. You're forcing yourself into our space. Wow. So you have to change the DNA, meaning you have to literally go to the grassroots and say, okay, this is what I'm changing. So this man could literally create his own genre. No this pressure. is this is what I told him. No pressure. Now I'm saying this on camera so that it stays for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if he forgets, <laughs> we will remind him. No, <laughs> he will come back and say, yeah. you remember. Minute swim, I, I said to him, <laughs> I said to him, and I even used his name now, Tato. <laughs> and now he's gone to Little Uli. Now we're going into the, to the man now. Yeah. I said to him, dude, you're not a hip hop artist. You're not a hit creator. You are a movement. That's what you are. You're bigger. You are a movement, meaning once you're, once you're done with whatever you've been set to do in this world, okay? I shouldn't be saying, hey, that was a good hip hop guy. Yeah. Hey, that guy yeah. used to yeah. create hits. I should. Everybody who's had a broken heart, who's had anything that they faced, should look and say, I healed. And I've overcome. And I'd overcome. Because literally, was yeah. there. You get the idea? Now you're far bigger. And that's what, that's the problem with us as Adventist young people. We still want to succumb to small things. Yeah. You still want to become a hip hop artist, which you're called for fun. You still want to become a, a, an artist. <laughs> you're far bigger than that. You in itself, dude, you have, you have movement in yourself. All right. Mm -hmm. You should walk into a space, man, and people should whisper. I would say it. <laughs> Not because you're top of the charts. No, but because it's you. You know. Go to hell out there. Little old lady, little 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 yeah. I can make money, but can I heal? I can make money, but can I overcome the fact that I'm an abuser at home? Mm. I'm a good husband. You are much more, dude. You get the idea? So in that space, man, this is why I say to guys, stop trying to fit in. Yeah. Recreate the game. Recreate it. Don't become a hip hop gospel guy. God, don't try and take God and fit him into the space. No, no. You guys are bigger. Create what it is that you have. Even if it's your own legacy. If it's an old, right now, my kids were asking me, Uncle Zaini, why are our CDs not at Bomo? <laughs> and I said, they don't have a genre for us. Mm. Mm. I said to them, I, they don't have a genre, Yarona, because what we have is far bigger mm. than what Bomo has put down on the lines. Yeah, because when I submitted, who am I? I'm not a gospel artist. Because if you compare me to a gospel artist, all you're basically saying to me, I'm in that little corner. You know, you know uh, this. Yeah. No, 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 I'm far bigger than that. Hey, you can't compare an old man with a child out there. 
Mm-hmm. If they have to, to accommodate us, they'd have to create a children's gender. And then they'd have to call it a children's Christian gender. Yeah. You have to create <laughs> things. Just what people need to struggle to place you. Because yeah. you're bigger. <laughs> you didn't fit in. So that's why, dude, for my creators that really want to do stuff within God's space and God's perspective, you can't succumb to what the world has given you now. Mm. Don't. You haven't been called for that. You've been called for things that are now much higher and far bigger than guys mm. could ever imagine. We haven't seen what Lekole can do. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> that, to be honest, dude, all we've, we've seen just a, we've just Double seen a speck. little speck. <laughs> yeah. But wait till he allows God to lift him up to where he's supposed to. We'll sit there and say, cannot our calling do this for people to sit down and say, what kind of man are you? Yeah. They have to marvel. They shouldn't say, they shouldn't even be able to define you as a hip hop artist. They shouldn't be able to define you as a podcaster. They shouldn't be able to define, they should just marvel and just say, hey guys, mm. what's the seven degrees thing? What is it? Because yeah. they can't figure it out. It's the same thing they did for Jesus. And it's the same thing they did for his followers. All they kept asking at the end of the day is, what kind of people are this, man? Yeah. Twelve people changed the world, dude. Mm. Think about it in that <laughs> sense. Actually, three years, three years of ministry. A millennia into it. Mm. To the wars have been fought based on what those 12 guys are <laughs> still being fought to this day. Based. Think about it. But that's your calling. That's his calling. That's my calling. But yet, because we haven't changed our mind, we still want to fit in. Yeah. Into something yeah. small. And God keeps saying, no, dude, you're in the wrong space. <laughs> hey, create. Because I've given you the strength to create. Hey, you're a creator. Create. Yeah. Don't be, I'm a piano. Don't be, no. Those guys created that. But you are also a creator. Create something that we don't even have a word for. At the end, the repeat, 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 Hey, you get my way. At the end of the day, what the hell? I'm a killer too. You promise. Already said. Already said. No, killer too. Killer too. Killer too. Killer too. I'm not playing this game. I know. I know. So, so, so that's that's. I mean, this this will be a conversation. Yeah. We can get deeper and longer on it, Robert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, I'm giving you a glimpse of really the conclusion of it to say mm-hmm. to do stuff in God's space is to be bigger, to, to be at the stage that God wants to see you in. Yeah. So don't try and fit him and fit you into what man has created. Hey, because if you do, you're literally going to struggle. You, or your mind is going to battle with you a lot. Firstly, your spirituality is going to struggle, right? Because think about it in this sense. Every genre has a culture. Yeah. And no matter how much you change the words for it, the culture still follows. Mm. You know, eventually you'll find yourself, you know, in the wrong spaces, doing the wrong things because the culture calls for it. Yeah. You get the idea? Um, if you go into the rock space, go check out, uh, you know, contemporary music, Christian contemporary music. You'll still find that they, they are struggling because they try to fit God into the culture. Yeah. But they still struggle with the same things that um, secular artists still face. Mm. Yeah, they still struggle. Same drugs, same, you know, groupies. Um, still, the culture follows. Yeah. But once you do something that's really, I'll say, outside of that space that God has given you, you've created your own culture. To a point where uh, all these other things that guys struggle with, that that's not what you're going to be facing at all. Yeah. Guru, you'll be so much bigger than that. You have to be, you know, a little late and stronger as a minute to that groupies that listen to you and listen to your words and how you put it down are afraid to even approach for any weird acts. Go to the girls. Straight straightforward. Yeah. Should be straightforward. Hey, because of the positivity you've been bringing in, your lyrics are so strong. And, and that's how big it is, man. That when you come off the stage, 
guys should be afraid to call you for biz- shady business deals hmm. because they know who you are you know but unfortunately when you take the culture of the music and you try and infuse god in it the culture still carries and you're going to be lost in the madness it'll yeah it'll be just jesus but you know with sins still around yeah. us but it'll have jesus in it you know without the without without the impact yeah you know the Je- the jesus effect is that do you create something that the world marvels to and the people around you say what is this mm. well, what is this? that's all we can actually say you see what is this you never seen anything yeah. like this wow and when you're gone dude, my kids i'll tell my kids that that guy I said to yeah. him, hey, <laughs> hey, a good couple of hours. <laughs> hey, the overcoming that you have managed to do right now, that guy was bigger, yeah. and he's the one who brought it to our team. Now, which is something, dude. I mean, there's more that I, we can talk about. Um, mm. I'm, I'm next year. I'm starting a mentorship program just for boys, mm, young yeah. young boys, um, different ages. You know, from the you know twenties. because I've gone through that stage now I when I and, yeah. and, and I look at it from my perspective and I say I want to give back and say okay guys I know what I, what you guys are facing I may not know it to the T but yeah. the principles are the same yeah. Uh, yeah but then we can be better we can be better than our fathers who think uh, we can be better because our fathers who left our minds we still can be better we still can love better can be better husbands we can be better fathers so that at least our children have a fighting chance yeah hey let's not let the fact that we go went through something you know, yeah, limiting be a limiting okay. factor but also let's yeah. not perpetuate it mm-hmm. with yeah. what we do mm. sometimes our music does that mm. our one hey you know that saying hurt people hurt, hurt people, people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we we should make sure that stops very quickly in the way we think so i'm going to start it next year just to make sure we can sit together just as guys yeah and have real talk hey, yeah yeah real yeah. talk you know what i mean yeah no no for sure like <laughs> um um i think yeah that was just the best way to even close it without me even saying let's close it you know um uh, i don't know if yeah, it can go on and on you know but this yeah. platform is still we just planted the seed you know there's more to come this is just us breaking the ice yeah. you know there's still more to talk about these deeper levels to reach you know i'm this is the first time we've just sat here and not have to ask many questions probably ask like <laughs> 10 10 <laughs> questions you know and and then yeah. the conversation flowed uh uncle swani one more question about the book that's really oh, where i wanted to end yeah, it yeah, um yeah, one last yeah. question oh, the book. Okay. holy holy days versus holy days yeah um what's that book about uh the book is simply <laughs> it's simply inspired by questions the kids ask me um for example why do we not celebrate christmas the way the world does mm. um you know kids will ask you where was santa uh, during the birth of christ mr herod can you <laughs> <laughs> hey how does santa fit in Yeah, that's yeah. a good question and kids are, I like kids because they're very pure yeah and innocent when they ask hey havana the sebe has is say see he can say because they're very clear you know so kids have asked me this for where where do we get all this christmas madness that we don't see in the bible secondly mm-hmm. they'll ask me things like um the easter bunny why is the mm-hmm. easter bunny why are you chasing eggs when mm, we are yeah. saying this is the time when christ died <laughs> hey mm. so we did what what does the body have to do with it and then um one of the things that worried me the most was because i teach in schools um halloween oh yeah it started becoming a thing yeah mm, hey. yeah. yeah you know i started yeah. becoming yeah. a thing so i had to teach the kids the history of all of these holidays and and why we shouldn't be running around after all of these things but mm. we need to know who we are and why we shouldn't just you know run yeah. through with these things and then i you yeah. get those things yeah i got to just have what we call a, a a a history and an understanding before we follow the world um i was talking to some teenagers about valentine's day and how that heart that we draw was never originally a heart in itself i hope you guys know that 
of of of, of you know of studying and reading and just experiences and whatnot. Mm. I feel like there's so much that I can share. <laughs> So it's always nicer yeah. when somebody gives me a direction. Uh-huh. Uh, and they're very specific, mm-hmm. you know, and they're very specific. And throughout our conversation, I realized you allowed me to touch on a lot of things mm-hmm. and a lot of things that I felt, okay, they are sort of principle. They're mm-hmm. sort of principle. So maybe I, I, I'd, I'd say you asked me the right stuff. You did mm-hmm. ask the right stuff. And the last <laughs> one that you, that you put up, Okay, yeah. was the one that I would have asked for a follow-up, mm-hmm. where we just sit now and discuss how do we link God into the yeah. creative space, yeah, but not in a circular perspective. That's the in more direct God's, question. Yeah, in yeah. God's realm yeah. now. Mm, mm. How does how do we, you know, how do we create theater mm. in God's perspective? Mm. Yeah, how do we become artists in terms of pen and paper and pencils and whatnot in God's perspective. Mm. Mm. How do we, you know, how do we just become creators in, in that God's space? space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in yeah. the world space. <coughs> because unfortunately, that's a different conversation altogether. Yeah. Uh, and then we can compare the two and see what works. So that would have been now, like I said, it would be more like a request to say, whenever we find time again, yeah. God willing, <laughs> you know, that could be our next conversation. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that yeah. could be our next mm. conversation. So I don't know. I think that's, that's, that's Please write it down. Yeah. I feel like for me, it's a situation whereby after I told you guys, partially, I thought that, that was a tip of an iceberg <laughs> of what happened from 2019 to 2023. I feel like you guys should have asked me, or maybe I would have liked to ask myself, like, Kone, the question comes in two types of parts. Okay. Is it possible to heal and to overcome? Yeah. And also is like, after, if it is possible, what should you do? You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna talk to my, I'm gonna talk about myself. Sorry about that. Um, I realized something growing up. You know, it's a situation where you're talking about the addiction. Mm. When I started doing that, it was because I had a reason. The heartbreak that I was yeah. telling you about, yeah. right? Yeah. She left, pain. and then pain. Basically, yeah, mm. pain. So I was like, okay, how do I fill in the love that was supposed to be there? Mm. Yeah. I found something. I started loving that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Came to a point now where my nephew's like, bro, but we still love you. Mm. There are no perspectives changed. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah. fine. He said that she didn't say that. Yeah. Or she doesn't have to say it anymore. Yeah. Or I don't need that pain anymore. Yeah. What am I doing now? So there was that, I don't know if I should say void or like space. I was just empty. Two yeah. years. Mm. Yeah. I was like, okay, fine. I started first, I needed a reason to that I don't have the reason, then I'm stuck there. So this yeah. is basically 2021 to 2022. Mm-hmm. And in that process, this is where now the boy is growing. The boy is growing because now he's like, okay, fine, I don't need to be attached to that. You know what I mean? You start restructuring like you were saying, yeah. your purpose, yeah. your goals, and you're like, okay, fine. Logically, if I move this way, and I'm still crying about this girl for four years, <laughs> I'm going to be this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What should I do? Yeah. Like I'm going to say. So you start, you know, maneuvering. You pick it, you know what I mean? So that's mm-hmm. why now I'm like, okay, fine. I'm still something you have to look at to heal and to overcome. I want, because mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't want to be, what can I say? I don't want to put the blame game or like put or discredit the people who are doing good in life or they have the right principles mm-hmm. but like you were saying a lot of us in society quote unquote are kind of messed up mm-hmm. or going through messed up yeah. Yeah. Okay. so it goes back also to, to the content of music i'm not trying to put shade on our fellow creatives but you mm-hmm. have to think guys about as much as we're talking about like i was saying doing that with someone's girl or talking about cars or blocks all like that None of these niggas, I mean, none of these whole reason for so many blocks. Or what? They might do, but are you trying to tell us, Jorge, let me about a block or about uh, an AQ or whatever? Is the right thing to tell your little brother? Because yeah. yeah. we see it now. It's mm-hmm. become so everyday, like you mm-hmm. see someone getting shot, you feel sad. Yeah. But is that the new. Normal, is that us? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it is it is this is it the new normal now for me to 
leave church, start doing one, two, three, and talk about how, hey, what, 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 I want the cup of blah, blah, blah. It's not. Mm. So you plan on coming back? To church. I mean, I'm very good. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. That's okay. also something I wanted to say about Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what. So, yeah, yeah, that's what we should have asked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like people are so attached to the church, mm. not the relationship. With God. Yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah. a situation. Funny story. Imagine a situation whereby I was at some um, club, a pax. Mm. I don't want to be so drop. specific. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's it's the kind of, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to see whatever. Yeah. So imagine now. Saturday, my party like you get it. Yeah. Right. Mm. Eight to twelve, enjoy the first service, and then I I didn't go for the afternoon. Mm. But someone I saw in the morning for that church service. Yeah. I saw her in the night. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when our perspectives change. Mm. Like, bro, you can't really keep on going to church every Saturday, and next thing, Saturday you're like yo, or even a few hours later you're there holding the cold one. You know, drinking and driving, it really doesn't match your persona. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was also kind of the reason why I took that break because I was like, I'm not saying I hate church or what. I need to understand who I am, the purpose, how I'm moving in life, and what I'm trying to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm also talking about the growth. Tato was like an immature or the inner child that I had. So many problems, innocent. Everything is coming. Now look at us, it's full telling you everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Showing people like, yo, the value that you are talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Is this yeah. not me, Tato, pulling up, wearing Nike, and you feel like no, I look good? When I step into the room, I need you to have some type of, uh, what is it called? Not really, I want you to have some type of thought about me, but you have to feel something. Mm. The value, what am I bringing? You know what I mean? Just like you said, the you are like, you don't even really put so much thought into his lines until I broke it down. Yeah. Until mm-hmm. he understood where is he coming from. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because there's a point where the tracks that I did on SoundCloud and I was saying so much hurt stuff. Mm-hmm. To a point I was like, okay, but I'm even talking about or glorifying suicide. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. can't you can't be yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Facts, then, facts, facts. That for period, I can you know, four year period, sorry, four years of my life that I felt like was the longest mm. have changed me now. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm like, okay, fine. Also going back to Kanya Uncle Specs, when I was asking him, I'm like, yo, is it really a bad thing if you know what I'm saying? Because I was, I don't know if I was like forecasting the stuff or what, mm-hmm. but for some reason I've always been with the pen, you know? Mm. So I've always been right to just try about what's been going on at home or like in my mind or like even around um, the environment because there'd be a situation where I'm with Uncle T here, right? What's she like? You pull up and you're like, ah, Uncle T, I was the minute two. That's so cool, a minute two's all the way there, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, I'm all the way down there. I'm mm. not even with you guys. So mm. I'm not mm. even with you guys. You know what I mean? So it's a situation where it's like, as much as we want to do one, two, three in life, you have to look at, do you have the resources? Mm-hmm. How is the environment? Yeah. Who are you sitting next to? Yeah. The type of conversation you have. Oh, yeah. Right? So I feel like the fact that you guys asked me that question, I was also going to ask the same question. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. As much as you guys are learning from us, yeah. what are you learning? Mm-hmm. What, how is Tigo? <laughs> no, that's 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 the brand I'm trying to yeah, to go yeah. by. Yeah. That you're talking about, right? Yeah. 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 Mm. How can we, as participants in this podcast, learn from that? Yeah. And explain it. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. You are doing yeah. something now. Why don't we try to know? You are trying to interview us and understand. You just open a can of worms this side. So many possibilities. I don't even know about certain things or like. This is all like the scam, the, the last one that you were talking about. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. even now, I just have like, not like I'm biting off of it, but like inspiration. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. yeah. when you guys were just talking about them, like, I could just talk about so many other things. Yeah. But just like losing that that thing. You know what I'm saying? Because we are as close to some extent. Mm-hmm. We have a tendency as a people in society who are like, hey, the government is doing this, the government is doing that. Let's look behind the curtain. Yeah. Let's not look at the politics. You guys are also doing things. We're similar, no one. 
Susu suki rumah mukti sini. Mana ni dah? Ah, ni dah habuk. Wajar. Nia. Kan televira, masa five. Kan televira, masa orang monya. Kan televira short ini. You could have prevented those things that are just by kind of principles. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot man whoa yeah. yeah um thank you thank you uncle swani thank you a minute two hey now it's been 24 hours yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> this is gonna probably this is probably gonna be in three parts or oh, i don't know how many parts um we try to cut it down so that it's easy to congest but um as usual this is seven degrees where the misunderstood understand each other and <laughs> hope out the grease for the creative by the creatives i mean shout out to you guys too i mean shout out to all of you you guys are the yeah thanks thanks my guy thanks yes 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 thank you